there is a topic of conversation that's happening often, and it's been happening for a year and a half, and it's really happening right now because we're a year and a half into all this stuff. So um, the biggest thing that's coming through is that um, the illusion of control is gone. <laughs> you can't trick yourself into thinking that um, you're in control. And we used to be able to do that and have some semblance of control of what's going on, but not anymore, so it's gone. So what do we do instead? So when we're trying to control things, we get into our heads. And so when, you're out, when you get out of your head, you go into your heart and you connect with your heart. And then how do you function from that place? Like how do you, you know, once you feel your feelings or you're, you know, you're present with yourself and you're in your body, what do you do? So what does it look like? So there's three things that have kept, or keeping me sane right now and I'm supporting my clients as well. And I'm gonna give you those three things. So, um, so, knowing, so knowing that coming from your heart is the place that's gonna be the most effective and that the illusion of control is gone. The most important thing, the first thing is to be where you are instead of pretending you're somewhere else that, or that you should be somewhere else or shitting on yourself or pushing yourself unreasonably because you don't have the freaking capacity for that right now, probably. So, um, yeah, so it's you are here on the map. I talk about this a lot with my clients and, and, and because it's huge. Because if you don't know where you are on the map, you're just gonna keep rerouting and the GPS is gonna send you in circles. You're just gonna keep like spinning the wheels. So I am here on the map. This is where I'm at today. This is how I feel. Not like I'm gonna push myself and get like five hours of stuff done when I'm not. So just really being in reality. Where am I today? Okay, all right. So that's the first step. And really acknowledging where you are, how you're feeling, what kind of capacity you have for the day. And the second step is keep it simple. Keep it simple, sweetheart, K-I-S-S. -S. So knowing what's next, like what's the most important thing in your business that's next, is, the, is gonna keep you sane because when you do have capacity to do extra or to be productive, you're gonna know what's next. You're gonna have it there, okay, this is what's next. So that is huge. So keep it simple and knowing what's next. That's, one, that's the second one here I'm talking about because it's kind of similar, it's connected. Um, so, Focusing on the most important stuff and realizing, okay, here's the thing I need to do, and instead of like beating myself up because I'm not doing it yet, just say, okay, I'm gonna write it down, put it on my keyboard, and next time I am working, I'm gonna do that thing. Um, that's working for me. So, hope that helps. And then um, another one, the last one, so this is the third one, is to get support. To create more support than you think you need right now. Um, so what I, the reason, I, what I've done, what I just suggested to the client was um, to create a, a buddy. Uh, I have, I've had a buddy, you know, I meet with every week for years. Um, and I have a few other structures in my life too, my business to create support. And so, but I'm also creating more because I need it. Um, and the thing about having, so the, what this looks like, the buddy relationship or like a support partner, accountability partner, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's like in the morning on the first day of the work week for you, um, you meet for half an hour. This is what it looks like for me. On Tuesday mornings, I meet with a partner, my support partner, and we split half an hour, 15 minutes each, and we say what's going on, what are we celebrating, what's going well, what do we need, and what's next. And that 15 minutes I get with this person, and then giving it to them too, is priceless because it's it's different from a coach or a therapist or a mastermind group or a course you're in because it's it's boots on the ground it's like here i am you know on the ground about to do the thing i'm going to do and it, it supports you right where you are you know in that moment so that kind of support is completely free it's finding somebody who has a similar um who wants a similar thing kind of support and you know you just schedule it you know once a week or more than once a week some people do this every day actually i, I have two partners uh, i meet with one each a week or almost one each a week and so do what works for you okay so illusion of control is gone get out of your head into your heart be where you are and don't pretend or fool yourself for that day or that moment of where you're at by being here um you can be more effective and more focused and when you have capacity, 
uh, keeping it simple and doing what's next on your list, so what's there and what's most important, and getting more support than you're, you've had in the past. So I hope these tools are helpful for these times. I'm Jen Ailey, money and business coach for creatives. And if you want a boost of um, money support, you can get my free download of Money Makeover Kit on my website, jenaoycoaching.com. And I hope this is all helpful. All right, take care.